Mike Waltz. Hey, how about our Congressman Matt Gates? So my name is Congressman Mike Waltz. My district starts about five minutes up I-4 and runs all the way up to the great city of Daytona, beaches, NASCAR, all kinds of fun, and then up to St. Augustine. I have the real honor of taking Ron DeSantis's, our now great governor's seat, in Congress when he went to go be a great governor in Tallahassee to lead Florida forward. I've got some big shoes to fill. They're Navy shoes, and mine are Army, but that's okay. How many veterans we have out there tonight? Airborne. I've lived the American dream in the greatest country in the world, and I've seen a lot of, a lot of bad countries around the world. Single mom, struggling. She graduated college the same time I did, took her 15 years, took me four. And eventually, I had the real honor through all of that, growing up on the poorest side of Jacksonville, fighting our way forward to be the first Green Beret ever elected to Congress. But only in America, only in America did that kind of thing happen. And guess what? The left wants to take that away. The left is going to kill that American dream. Where unelected bureaucrats, they get to decide your money, your freedoms, where you go, what you worship, what kind of judges you get, all led by Nancy Pelosi and the squad in the House of Representatives. Well, guess what? We're going to take the House back. We've got a campaign going on called Florida Warriors, and it's all, our, it's all our House candidates that are fighting forward to take the House back and send Pelosi back to California. But let me tell you what, folks. Let me tell you. Congressman Gates and I see every day what America will look like under a Pelosi squad, left-wing-led America. And I'll be damned. Not over my dead body. That's not what I almost died for as a Green Beret. Let me ask you a question. Do you want that America? Or do you want President Trump's America? Let me ask you a question. Just answer, give me a Trump or a Biden. Who has stood up to China, fought back this virus, record-breaking vaccine research, and it's going to kick this virus's ass. Trump or Biden? Who's given us justice reform after four decades of the Democrats asking for it? Trump or Biden? Who's given us tax reform? More money in your pockets. Trump or Biden? Who's given us veterans reform that my veterans out there have been asking for? Trump or Biden? And I'll just keep going. Space Force, Israel, Baghdadi, Soleimani, and the hits keep going on and on and on, all led by President Trump. And let me tell you, as a Green Beret, let's go. Let's go. This stuff out there that this president doesn't support the United States military is just a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of garbage. I served overseas. I fought overseas under Biden Obama's military. We didn't have the equipment we needed. He tied our hands with, res with restrictive rules of engagement. Sadly, I had to lead the search for Bo Bergdahl. You remember Bergdahl? You remember Obama, Biden trading terrorists for that traitor? And we lost good men looking for him. Good men. This president supports our veterans. He supports our Gold Star families. He supports our military. He's given us the equipment that we need. And you know what? He lets us do our job so we kick ISIS, Iran, and anybody else who threatens this country's ass.
period. Let me tell you just a quick story about a real hero of mine. We have a lot of Latinos for Trump out here. Let me hear you. This was Captain Rocky Versace. Captain Versace was captured fighting off a North Vietnamese horde in Vietnam, completely surrounded. As a great officer, he was the last man standing so his men could escape, but he was captured. He was squirreled off into the jungle. He was tortured. The North Vietnamese treated him horribly. But you know what? The more they tortured him, the more he fought back. The more they turned the screws, the more they told him to kiss off. This is, this is all through witnesses. He tried to escape four times. Every time they captured him, they treated him worse, he tried again. He never stopped fighting. In fact, the last anybody saw of Captain Versace, he was being drugged into a torture hall singing God Bless America. Guess what? Captain Versace was a Puerto Rican descent. He was the first one to receive the Medal of Honor, and he was the first POW ever to receive the Medal of, uh, Medal of Honor. And I am proud to call him a fellow American. I'm proud to call every Hispanic I've ever fought alongside an amazing American. And Hispanics are absolutely supporting this president. But folks, it's not just our veterans that this president supports. Let me see my law enforcement out there. First responders, stand up and be heard. I want you to hear a couple of things loud and clear. Stand up. This president backs our blue. And I want you to hear something loud and clear that I know everybody behind me, Congressman Gates, Governor DeSantis, and certainly President Trump. To everyone out there right now keeping us safe, all those men and women out here keeping us safe, keeping the media safe, keeping our president safe, keeping our community safe, strapping on that badge every morning, every night to stand between us and the bad guys. You know what? I want you to hear loud and clear. We have your back. We 100% have your back. I see you guys out there. I see you gals out there. Thank you. When I come home from combat, who's keeping my family safe? They are. Last thing, I had to deal with my teammates, with my fellow Green Berets. For those of us, uh, and it breaks my heart every day that I wake up, I didn't bring all of them home. We had to deal with each other that if we didn't make it back, we'd take care of the kids, each other's kids. Fighting in Congress is part of my deal to take care of their kids. Fighting in Congress is to keep the American dream alive for their kids. I wear a bracelet every day for one of my Green Berets that I lost, and when I put it on in the morning, I look in the mirror and tell myself to be worthy. Be worthy. Everybody out here, we should all be worthy of those men and women in blue and those men and women in uniform that are out there fighting for us day in and day out. Be worthy. I promise you this, and I know I can speak for them too. We will fight as hard for you in Washington as we fought for you in combat. Guarantee it promise it. This president will keep fighting. We will keep fighting. You must keep fighting. You are the soldiers in this war for the future of our country. But we're going to settle this by voting. We're going to settle this in the ballot box. We're going to settle this in three weeks on November 3rd to get this president elected for four more years to keep America great. Because I'll be damned if I'm going to have those kids growing up in a country led by democratic socialists, or in a world led by Chinese communists. God bless you. I salute you. Let's keep America great.